Hi, I'm Paul Holtz, CEO of Class on Demand. Class on Demand creates the best training in the world for digital content creators. The Class on Demand website is loaded with free high-res video tutorials on today's most popular software products. What you're about to see is a segment from a complete tutorial. When it's over, I'll tell you how to purchase the complete training at a discounted price. So enjoy today's free lesson, and I'll see you at the end. We're going to go into multi-layer mix. Let's grab this one right about here. Let's drop this down. And you can see that this one doesn't have an endpoint because it was designed to be able to play as long as you wanted it to. It wasn't really designed with a fade in or a fade out. It's the same all the way through. You can also use your transitions to fade in and fade out of this if you want to. So let's go ahead and see what these drop zones look like. These are not moving around. Let's grab this football scrimmage, drop it in drop zone one, which is up here. We'll drop it in this one here. We'll drop this one here. And we'll drop this one here. Okay, you see these little uh, speakers up in here. You, you don't want to hear all of them at the same time, which can get kind of distracting. You can actually turn them off. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's just turn on these guys down here. Now this was just at the very beginning of this because once again, this clip ran out. See how drop zone four is frozen right now? That's because it actually ran out of video and it's also where the audio stopped. So let's kill that one and let's bring in this one instead. So this will be just the audio from drop zone two. And once again, what these are gonna do is they're gonna overlay one another within this track and it can get very obnoxious there for a second. So what you want to do is probably pick the one or pre-edit the one uh, that you want to use and put it somewhere down here in the audio timeline. You can actually change the position of these guys, the three, put them in the center and then change the outline color of the picture frames themselves. So let's go with a nice bright red. So drop zone one is back here. Drop zone two, three, and four. And there you go. Some of these will have little trimmers on them. Some of them will not. Hello again. So if you thought this lesson was valuable, imagine what you could learn from the complete training product. So please visit our website at classondemand.com to order the training and to also view our entire product catalog. When you're checking out, enter the product code below for a 10% discount. It's that simple. So once again, on behalf of Class on Demand, I'm Paul Holtz. Thanks for watching.